Hi Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see uh, what is your crush seeing you. Okay, so how do they see you through their eyes? What are the most your most attractive features or qualities to your crush here? This is going to be a general reading, guys. So please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself. Please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here in the show more section. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead, take a look at the cards and the messages. Uh, pause the video maybe. Uh, just really try and focus on your crush, your romantic energy here. Okay, try and hold a vision of them in your mind's eye. And we'll go ahead and see what messages come up for you. Bottom of the deck, you have the Wheel of Fortune here. Okay, um, it feels like things are a little bit complicated here. Why does that feel like that? It feels like there's um, it's a complicated state of emotional affairs. Um, is it because your crush is attached to someone else, but at the same time they're crushing on you, and you know you can't help the people that you're attracted to, the people that you have chemistry with? Is it because you're attracted to someone else and you're crushing on this person? just feels like it's a little bit more complicated than it should be. But hey, humans are complex creatures, aren't we all? Um, seven of Chalices, this is someone who is attracted to... It feels like every, every aspect of you and your personality. Honestly, they're attracted to the good qualities about you, but they're also attracted to your not-so-good qualities because they might find that attractive in itself, okay? They may find that... Um, you know, this, it, it's something cute, the way that you might say or do something or the way that you might pout when you don't get your way, they find that kind of cutesy, to be honest with you. So this is someone who I feel like is, your crush, she does a lot of daydreaming and a lot of wishful thinking about you, which makes sense if they're already attached because they can't be with you at least not in the physical realm, but in the imagination, in the imaginative realm, they do a lot of fantasizing, a lot of wishful thinking, a lot of daydreaming here, so you occupy a lot of their mental space. This is someone who I feel like wants to get closer to you, wants to get more intimately connected with you, but somehow the notion of waiting or patience is coming up very strongly, and I don't know if it's because this is someone who is as I've mentioned, I don't know if they're waiting, if you're attached to someone else, I don't know if this person is waiting for you to sort of um, end the connection and pursue this with them, or if it's the other way around, but the notion of waiting is coming up strongly. Maybe, look, maybe this person isn't attached, maybe you're both single, um, however, maybe this is a crush in a, in a professional environment, in a professional setting, and maybe this person is, you know, maybe you're their client or they're your client, maybe you work together and this person is waiting until you finish up a project or you finish up um, you know their sessions with them so that they could pursue you outside um, outside of this it feels like waiting is coming up very strongly here and it feels like you know it, it's for a reason here this is someone who is attracted to you physically yes but I feel like they're also attracted to the way that you um, you know the way that you carry yourself here especially with the ace of swords energy here this is someone who feels like you're a great conversationalist okay you're able to carry conversation here very well they also feel as though the two of you have a lot in common okay you share you're very mentally compatible you share very similar values um you like similar things here and and they love that they love that they're able to connect with you so strongly and so deeply on that level or that they could talk to you about anything and even if you're opposed their opinions or their beliefs you're able to you know offer reasoning and you're able to defend yourself here so ace of swords definitely an energy of someone having very strong mental compatibility with you um, they also love your independent style or your you kind of feast style okay they love the fact that sometimes you can come across a little bit argumentative or even a little bit feisty 
but again you know and that might be seen that might be deemed uh you know a bad quality but hey this person finds that attractive about you they find your feistiness your short fuse or your quick temper they find that attractive it might even turn them on in some way here um they do feel like you're heaven sent they do feel like i don't know if you've helped this person with something i don't know if the two of you have been in each other's lives for quite some time and again it, it's complicated that's all i can say right it's complicated it's like it's not very black and white there's a lot of gray areas here maybe this is a crush whom you've known for quite some time and the two of you always had feelings for each other but neither of you have acted on those feelings here but those feelings are there unfortunately over the years they haven't necessarily dissolved or gone away here so hence patience, hence the notion of waiting, it makes sense. Um, but they honestly feel blessed. They feel blessed that, and they feel lucky here. So I don't know if you guys were teamed up and tasked to work on a project together, if it's a collaborative environment. I don't know if this is a client kind of situation. I don't know if this person is your client and you walked in through their, their doors, or I don't know if they're your client here. And they walked in through those doors but they feel very lucky here they feel lucky to either have met you or they feel lucky the way that things have unfolded between the two of you the, the fact that they ended up working with you on a project or the fact that you know you they ended up having you as a client there's just a, a sense of luckiness that this person feels uh with you um they know, there's a bit of a chase so there's a bit of a wait here that i feel like they find very thrilling okay they love the fact that this isn't coming easy and they have to work for it as much as it frustrates them sometimes i feel like this person enjoys um kind of enjoying the thrill or the, the of the hunt of the chase they also love again you're coming up as a little bit and it doesn't have to be necessarily argumentative but you are someone who maybe is very opinionated or you are someone who can be very blunt and you know very direct and that can rub people the wrong way, but they love your truthfulness, your transparency, your honesty, even if some people can't necessarily handle that or, you know, find that a little bit insensitive. They love that about you. They love that you're a straight shooter. They love that, you know, you're, you don't beat around the bush here. This, I feel like this person really likes that about you. You're also coming across as very competitive or very athletic. So if you do have a bit of an athletic uh, body, okay, image, this person loves that. Um, this person loves that you're into fitness or you're really looking after your physique or you're very you're an athletic type um, They also love that you're very competitive and you're fierce in that sense. They find that very attractive and very cute They are waiting for you. I feel like this is someone who is waiting This person is waiting to make a move or they're waiting for the right timing the right circumstances Or they're waiting for the right words to say or they're waiting for you to respond But there is a very strong notion of waiting and it feels like you know, it's only a matter of time before the waiting comes to an end and something's got to give because you know they can't wait forever right or you can't wait forever so i wonder who will be the first to make a move in this instance here because i do get a sense of i don't know if the message here for you is be patient and wait this out or i don't know if it's like if you are going to wait for this you know crush to come around maybe give yourself a time frame or a deadline there's just a few messages there regarding the waiting concept here but this is someone whom you, you you kind of have, I don't know if you have history with this person or you have a connection with this person or you've got something with this person. The two of you have something that is just exclusively yours. Like for instance, if you work in, a, in the workplace environment, you guys have worked on a project together and it's something that you've built up and something you worked on together. You know, if, if this is your client, then, you know, they work with you here very closely to, I don't know, help improve your, your health, your mental, your physical health here. Um, so they have something with you that they feel is very personal to them here. Um, they love your fierceness here. They love the fact that you're so independent and you go after what it is that you want and you're so fierce. Okay. Um, you're coming across as it's it's confident okay it's not arrogant i don't think it's confident they love your confidence in yourself and in your abilities here they also like that you have this kind of gentle side to you because for the most part you are coming across as someone who's very directive and very you know confident but you've also got this uh, quite gentle side that i feel like your person really appreciates here um And they love the warmth 
the warmth and the vibrancy of your energy. All right, guys, so these are your messages. Thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.